at Sports Focus is presented by Dr. Ting Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Surgery. Well, we've gone to an open enrollment because of our, our, our population has gone down. When I was here at Oak Grove in 2007, we had uh, 2,700 students, which was crowded. Uh, now our enrollment's about low 1,700 high 1600s. Uh, they've redrawn the districts, we've opened up a couple of continuation schools and, and some students have opted to go to other schools. So our enrollment's down right now, which allows us to have an open enrollment for kids to come in rather than just move uh, into our district. Um, but that's not something that happened up until about about two months ago is when that finally happened. Before that, you had to have moved uh, into, the, uh, into our neighborhood as a full family move, just like at any school, you have to move as a full family move. Um, you know, in, in regards to uh, our junior transfer, uh, a gentleman named Maurice Washington, um, you know, you hear things uh, all along, and I hear a lot of kids, I'm coming, I'm going, I'm leaving, I'm coming in, and I've always said I don't believe it until when I see it. I've had kids tell me I'm moving, and then all of a sudden, come August 10th, they're there at the first day of practice. I thought you were moving. No, I, I'm not moving, you know. And I've heard kids are moving into our school, and, and sometimes they have, and other times they haven't. Um, you know, so, you know, coaches, that, a coach on my staff coached Pop Warner here. They grew up in this area, so they were aware of a, a, a young man named Maurice Washington, and they would tell me, oh, he's an Oak Grove kid. Uh, you know, he should be going to Oak Grove and, and this and that. So I kind of knew the name. Uh, Never met him personally. Uh, did see him a couple times, you know, at a 49ers function that we went to. I got to see him there, but really didn't have an opportunity to talk with him. Uh, and then, you know, I'd heard that, you know, Maurice is talking about transferring to Oak Grove, but, you know, I, I dismissed it because, like I said, you know, until I see it, I, I don't believe it. And I have, you know, 50 other kids to worry about that are here right now. And then all of a sudden uh, in February, I got a new student in my class, in my world history class. Uh, I believe it was third period, uh, and his name was Maurice Washington III. So I said, oh, you must be Maurice Washington. And uh, he sat right there in the front row uh, to the right. And uh, you know, one thing that I noticed about Maurice real quick was he was beyond what people displayed him as being a football player. He's actually an intellectual man that appreciates learning and likes to learn. And, and in my history classes, you know, he, he would contribute to conversations. He would contribute to lectures. He would ask good questions. And I even think I asked him a couple times, like, man, you like history, huh? I could see you maybe enjoying yourself doing this and stuff. And, you know, he told me that he just likes learning and, and he likes, you know, to be informed of things. Uh, you know, so um, that's something I realized about him. And then right after that, I realized that, you know, he has a magnetic personality. Uh, people gravitate towards him. I remember when he first got to our school, uh, we were walking through the quad, and, you know, three kids came up and ran up to him, and, and Maurice Washington, you know, one kid gave him a big hug, and, and he was not a, a student athlete. It was just a student you know, of um, Asian descent, matter of fact. So that's how I knew that, you know, he, you know, coming from where he was and, and uh, you know, the kids here liked Maurice. And, uh, and I can say with Maurice, you know, on the topic of things, I've seen a growth in him since he got here. You know, when he first got here, he was a little standoffish, uh, a little to himself, didn't really want to open up much. But then he's just continued to grow and become more relaxed. And I remember talking to his mom right after Maurice had gotten here, and his mom told me, you know, he's a really outgoing kid. You know, he's a really friendly kid. He's a really nice kid. He's not, you know, this quiet guy trying to be hard and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and I listened to that, and it took a couple of weeks. But, you know, I can say, honestly, at this point in time, he, he is that kid. You know, he, he's a really friendly guy. He's a really nice guy. He, he, he doesn't try to hurt people. He tries to help people. And, and that's something to say on his character as a young man and, and where he's going in life. Uh, and that's something that I can say. I mean, the talent's there. There's no doubt. Outstanding football player. Uh, does things on the field that only few can do, uh, does things that a lot of us are jealous of, no doubt, but you know, he even works hard on the football field. He doesn't feel like he, we owe him anything. He doesn't feel entitled. He enjoys practices. He does the bear cross. He comes to all the workouts. He competes. Uh, so he is, a, you know, I think anything that he puts his mind to that he's just, uh, he, he's a go-getter, whether it be academics, friendship, a son, a player, you name it. You know, he, he's just got that nice characteristic about him.